Right, I've come down from over there. There's the aerials on the hill. I passed those aerials earlier. Look at the very defined two fences. I wonder if that looks like they might build a road there or something. It's very defined, isn't it? Very defined. Never seen that before when I was here in September. Up there is a field I came across after coming away from the muddy track where people are looking for magic mushrooms. There's somebody there. He's been looking for ages for magic mushrooms. And there's another one. And there's more of them and they're looking for magic mushrooms. Anyway, here I am at Longwood. I just met two women, probably my age. I thought, I didn't see them straight away. They were sat on the grass, sick. They were doing distancing and they were having a picnic and they looked like two little gnomes. It was so funny. I wanted to take a picture of them, I thought, but you know what? Anyway, here we are. This is Longwood. The path is becoming more and more defined, I've noticed, over this past year. And more and more people have got time to spare to go out, you see. Now, when I came here in September, it was still quite lush green in, in the wood. Uh, the outer wood was quite leafless and grey and dull. But the inside was still very green. be interesting to see how fast the stream is here. Uh, I might have to go up and round rather than through the, the valley of the wood today. Because that, looking at that stream, it was um, quite hectic. And they've only got the waterworks next door. You'd think they would have repaired that by now, wouldn't you? But here we are. This is Longwood. Over the fence. Over the stile. Lovely day I've had. Sometimes, when you get back to Western, though, you could have had a lovely day with pure oxygen and beautiful natural fragrances where you've been in the countryside and you go back and Western often smells of pot and skunk. It just oozes out of everyone's windows over there. And in, in, it's such a shame, really, because you've come out in here and had all this natural stuff. Oh, the tree's falling down there. Mind you, we've had some really, like, hurricane-type winds. I thought they like, looked look like a big gap there. This is why I, every visit, although I've been here quite a few times, every visit is different. This is the 4th of November. 2020. It's the US presidential election, which I've mentioned on other videos, of course. Not decided exactly yet. A bit of each. So it could go either way by the sound of it. But it's still looking lovely, isn't it? Lovely and pretty. Look. A bit of orange, a bit of green, a bit of yellow. Lovely mossy walls. A lovely carpet of leaves. Soft on the floor. Oh, so slippery and greasy. Oh, so this one's been taken down. This one had some rare, massive mushrooms hanging from it. I can hear people. Yeah, the stream looks glistening down there, but I can hear people. They just say they were going to do some felling, though. Just hope that's not a... Those people are friendly, I mean, you don't know when you're out, do you? They could be workmen. Oh, 
let's go down, we just have to we'll put your camera away. Yeah, big tree. And there's another one not missing there. They did say they were doing some felling. Right, over and out for a minute. Look at that beautiful scene there. Right there we've got this water, look how it's gushing out from that spring that was burst further up and now look Yeah Yeah they've been doing some felling here, they said they were going to do some felling Oh it's some lovely colours Lovely all type things, I just passed a group of four student type people and then I forgot about Covid but I sort of kept a bit away from them, but they were young, you know, so I mean, say 18 to 24, something like that age group, I mean, I should have been, I should be alright, should be alright, hopefully, but of course there's the risk on the bus, no, nowhere safe, nowhere safe, so I'm just videoing, this is a contrast to a month ago, where all this was dry, you never had any of this. Yeah, look at it, it's beautiful, isn't it? So this is Longwood, everyone. For obvious reasons, it's a long wood. It's got a stream running through it. You get deer here, potholes, caves. They were nice English boys. I mean, you've always got to be careful, you know what I mean? But you just... I just told them where to go for the magic mushrooms. <laughs> now you're happy. Oh, what's good, we're going to go there, he said. <laughs> I think I will keep to the lower path, because look, the water's disappeared. i got a feeling it gets diverted because of this cave-in system. I don't know what happens when it bursts its bank, so. So a little bit more video in. I took a few pictures of uh, a couple of trees that were down. I mean, I'm just hoping I was all right. It wasn't dead close to them. We sort of, I just remembered about COVID. I thought, oh God, you know, it mustn't get too close. But uh, I don't know how, long, how quick it is that, uh, Time to take. Right, I'm going to turn off now. I just want to get a picture yeah, of this. Quite a bit of felling been going on over the past week, um, as you can see here. But then they did put warning signs up. I wouldn't have been, probably been allowed to come through here. Um, I'd have to up, gone. They might be at the top. So fortunately, they've done down here. So I probably wouldn't have come been able to come down here. I forgot about that. There's no sign on that gate there though. I had to put um, the battery charger on. That's two batteries gone flat. I forgot to charge the other battery up though. They've done quite a bit, haven't they? But then that's preserving. It's a different thing. 
when they're doing felling for preserving the the wood you know because it is like a re people do come here with children I mean it's designed for families to come and walk around for exercise but I reckon they're working at the top if I'd done the top route I might have bumped into them up there see <sighs> mustn't lose me my sandwich put it in your other pocket don't want to lose me tomorrow I mean jeez I'd hate to do that <sighs> it certainly is a bit squelchy down here go I'm going to have to go up there I thought I heard a little bird then They have to do it this time of year as well, when the birds aren't nesting, you see. There's reasons for everything. Oh. It'd be awful if they said you can't come up here, isn't it? in a minute, if I want to go up there. Because I don't know if the cows are in the Piney Sites farm or anything. Some lovely colours on the trees today. Yeah, I'm going to eat my lunch when I go across the sheep fields. That's what I normally do. I've got to keep the battery, actual battery charger attached now by a lead. I put the spare battery in it. didn't last very long. I forgot to charge it up. It was did have some in it, fortunately. But it's a proper day out, this one. An autumn day out, which works out about the same, really, because... Even though it say it gets dark off five six, basically, I still got to get back for that. Say it was the summer and it doesn't get dark to ten. I still got to get that six o'clock bus. That's the only sad thing about not having my van because when I had Alberta, I could stay up to eight o'clock. There was no never a panic, and I used to get sausage and chips and a can of coke and sit in the van after doing a hike. You know. But it wouldn't be any good having a vehicle now, if you think about it. You can't go anywhere. Everywhere sort of restricted or locked down. Even the campsite that um, over Porlock announced this week that they would be closing for now because of the COVID. They can't take any campers. Not even if you've got um, your own camper van with the toilet. They're not taking nobody. They've shut the gate for now. They're shutting poor lock down, basically. So I'm glad I did what I did in the summer when I did my coastal walk and I went and stayed at poor at um, Lynmouth and I managed to do four four to five days of really really good hiking. Oh, that's lovely wood, isn't it? That'd be full of bluebells and wild garlic in the spring. Something to look forward to. Big old tree back there, though, has been cut down. But um, I usually, when the bluebells and that come, I normally go up that way and then, like, walking back round. I wonder if they're going to do anything to this big tree here. He's been there a long time, that one. Sometimes they don't seem to care if they pull them down. They might say it's not safe. Great big old tree that is. Anyway, this is Sheila. Black rocks just up there. Where I went through a gate to go up Velvet Bottom a couple of hours ago. And I'm going to go up Sheepfield because I reckon the steps going upwards to, on the other side of Cheddar Gorge, the north side, will be very muddy and slippery. So basically, I'm going up here. It's always a bit of a pain having to go up here, but it is a steady climb. 
and uh, I'll be in long sheep field about to have my cheese and tomato packet of crisps <sighs> so it should be okay and we would have had a really good day out and the closest I got really was those young men but the two only just arrived and I immediately realised and I moved away I was just talking to them about how lovely the weather was and that and uh then I just sort of mentioned the magic mushrooms and that was, oh, we'll go over there. And it just reminded me, oh, it reminds me of Georgia. She was a student. Um, and she was a young girl like that. Oh, my beautiful kids. Oh, my lovely children. Oh, I love them. And my grandkids. <sighs> right, over and out. Over and out. This is the the long crooked lane. Pebbly sort of lane, rocky lane, that I come up after I've been through the wood, which I've just been through. Um and I done it sort of a month ago and so Autumn colours are here now for sure. Not going straight from green to no leaves like happened in August. The inside of the wood was protected. Um, but it's now proper autumn. I don't often video all this walk up here because I it does I do get a bit out of breath. And um, I'll be at gate in a minute and I'll go in to what I call Long Sheepfield because it matches with Longwood and I call it Long because it is a long field. And some lovely, lovely sunshine coming. Like I said, I had to take into account the clocks went back. It gets dark earlier. I reckon it's dark by six now. So... We're pushing it today. We're pushing it. What became worrying when the other COVID restrictions with the buses was, they were very, very spontaneous. There was no real timetable exactly. Um, they might not turn up. They might not pick you up. Um, so the bus drivers won't tell you anything they think it's all going to just carry on but I wanted to get this walk in the day before the restrictions come in because it, because it could be very unpredictable with buses like it was before um, in fact I never went on a bus for three months I didn't go on them a lot when I had my van. Um, but to get out to these areas of beauty, it's the only way I can get out here. But if by doing this walk today, what it does, it's like stoking the furnace. It's stoking my soul, my spirit, and my mind. And I got the video. So I can remember I've had a nice day today. There's some sheep in there. I've had a nice day today. I'm going to walk across Sheepfield. I'll just do a little bit of videoing.